Hello folks, we have been seeing how to manage our Elasticsearch clusters. In the previous video, we saw how to trigger a manual snapshot and storing it in S3. In the continuation of that action, I'm going to show you how you can restore your indices to a newly created cluster. Your new cluster can be in the same region or in a different region or it can be just a refreshed cluster that is being cleaned up with all the indices and you want to restore it from your snapshots. So let us go ahead and see how we can do that. Uh, here I am in my uh, freshly created cluster. This is my cluster endpoint. Let me go ahead and copy it. And if I go ahead and put it in my plugin, which shows me the indices. And as of now, you can see here, there are no indices. Even if I go to my Kibana dashboard here, and if I go to management and index patterns, you can find that there are no Elasticsearch data there. So let us go ahead and restore some indices from my S3 bucket. You can see here there are a lot of uh, indices there, which is from my previous uh, snapshots or my previous clusters. I'm going to pick up one of my uh, indices here and then I'm going to restore them. So if you follow this GitHub article, you will know how to set up your AWS CLI and then register your repository to your uh, cluster. So as a continuation of that, we are going to do this actions now. So let us go ahead and see how to list out all the uh, indices first that is available in my snapshots. So this command that I put in on my screen here, that is curl hyphen xget followed by your domain name and then underscore snapshot is the API name and my repository is my snapshot repository. Underscore all is going to list out all the indices that are in my snapshots. So you can see here, there are a lot of indices starting with a CWL, that is some, uh, nothing but a CloudWatch logs that I have stored there. So I'm just going to pick up a couple of them and going to restore into my uh, new cluster that I have created. So the command for that is going to be a little lengthy one. So I'm just going to copy paste it. The commands are there in the GitHub article, so we can just go ahead and use them. Here is the command that is going to help us to restore our indices. So first thing is we are going to give our indice name here and then make sure that your domain name is also correct, followed by the underscore snapshot that is the default name API and then your my repository name. And then when you're triggering a snapshot, you are given some name for your snapshot itself. So once you get that right, followed by your indices name, you can simply just copy paste it into your CLI. So let us go ahead and do this. So if everything is successful, I it should get a prompt saying accepted true. And let us go to our plugin and refresh the screen and see whether we have got our freshly created indice for uh, 21st of August. I'm just going to connect again here or I can do a refresh as well. So you see here, I have got my indices here. Likewise, if I go to my Kibana dashboard, and check for new data here. I can see my new uh, index here. So I can, all I have to do to import them is just go ahead and see the index pattern, click on next. And then just going to say that there's a timestamp in my data and I should be able to import it. So my data is getting imported. If I go to discover and let just change the time frame to this month and I should be seeing some quickly uh, some quick visualization. So that is how you import one indice. So if you want to uh, uh, import more than one indices or if you want to import all of them, it is possible. I'm just going to show you how you can uh, and import a couple of indices more. So all you have to do is uh, you just have to under indices section, you just have to have a comma separated values. So this way you can import multiple indices into your cluster and you should be able to uh, do them on a regular basis. What typically happens is people uh, import only the specific data that they want to process and they will import it into the cluster and then they will delete it later. In the follow up video, I'll show you how to delete them. But meanwhile, let us go ahead and see if we can see these two indices also into our cluster. So let us go ahead and refresh the screen. So I should be seeing a couple of more indices. You can see here, I've started using Kibana. So I see the Kibana dashboard. So I see uh, August 21st and 2nd and then 23rd as well. So if I go here and then go to management and the index patterns, I should be able to see all the indexes that are there here. And uh, by the way, you can see that in your Amazon uh, cluster as well. If I go to indices here, 
and you should be able to see them here as well so that is how you import data into your cluster if you have any trouble go there ahead and put them in the comment section i would be happy to help them with you thanks for watching happy learning